Hello everyone, question for you. What do you do at 1.30 in the morning when there's a newborn in your house and you can't sleep? You do the laundry and you build a race car. Welcome back to the channel guys. Today is a day where we are going to attempt to pull our engine out of the car so we can get some work done to the interior of the engine bay and also do some work to the engine. So hopefully by the end of this video, this engine here will be out and we can work some magic inside the engine bay, clean some stuff up. And then we can also do some work to our wonderful engine here. That means we can actually take some things off it, add some new stuff onto it and uh, get that all squared away before we have to go and put that engine back in the car and get that, uh, get that going again before we take it in to get the floor pan changed. So, Without further ado, let's get to it. Looks like the very first thing that we're going to have to do after we get the engine out is actually get a new battery because I went to start it, it's actually dead. So we are going to replace the battery um, that's in this car. This is actually, I don't know what this is. It's some heavy duty, big, heavy, bulky piece of uh, junk. And we are going to reroute and mount a battery inside the cabin of the car. So this uh, will be getting taken out today, if not in the next few weeks. I'm just uh, charging it at the moment, making sure we've got enough charge just so we can charge, uh, start the car. Do a bit of an uh, oil flush on it before I drain the oil out and then do a radiator flush at the same time. So we'll wait for this to get going. While we're doing that, I'll pull the front bar off, um, ready to start getting this engine out. Alright guys, the time now is 4.30 in the morning and we've made a bit of progress. I'm not trying to rush through it, I'm just taking my time. Um, just trying to just figure out everything that's going on in here. And this is where we're at right now. So, radiator's gone, battery's out. Just started to disconnect a few of the lines. Um, got your power steering, taking that out, the reservoir out. Um, 
yeah, just slowly making our way through the different things that we need to get done. And uh, from there we'll start undoing all the harness um, and get all the electrical out of the way. And then hopefully sometime soon we might be able to hook it up and pluck it out of the car. So that's where we're at right now. So we'll continue on keep trying to get this uh, these connections off and yeah you'll see how old this car is this connection down here I don't know if you can see it it literally just disintegrated in my hand so now I've got to try and figure out where those pins go for this plug right here but we'll figure that out hopefully sometime soon All right guys, looking down in our engine bay, it's looking a lot less cluttered now. I've taken the radiator out, I've taken the, the aircon unit out down there just to give me give myself a bit of space. Um, again, brittle connections. I, I don't know if I can find a different, another connector that, another connection that we can join those together to see if we can come up with something there. But all these connections are coming off nicely. On this car, most of them have pins retaining the connections together so if you look here there's a pin right here another one there and then across the injectors across the top there's, in, there's pins in there as well so you can't lose these pins because otherwise you'll be in a world of trouble so just get a pair of needle nose pliers pull them out and let's take them over here to the little ziploc bag I've got labeled as pins drop it in there and I've got another whole bunch of bags of gear here for different parts all labelled so you come in here pull that one out there little pin drop it in the bag then you slide your connection off slide the connection off and there's those two connections of the wiring loom done so then you move on to your um, injectors do those ones and then this one here Gently, without breaking it, it pops off there nicely. And you just keep moving along the line, making sure you're disconnecting everything off the engine and the transaxle, ready to pluck the engine out. So we'll continue on with this and see how much further we can get. All right, guys, we have officially come to the part where you have to hook up my new engine hoist or engine crane to the engine uh, to get it ready to pull out so um, I've had to pull out the uh, drive shafts and stuff down there they're all done once I hook up the uh, engine to the crane I've just got to do the uh, front and rear engine mounts undo those and then we should be right to just lift this thing straight up and out all going well fingers crossed so it is absolutely filthy. If you look down here, look at the grease and the grime that is taking up this engine bay. So once we get this engine out, I'll give it a good clean, um, give the uh, engine bay a good clean, a good scrub, and try and get it back to somewhat of a respectable um, look to it, because I'd love to be able to get this thing done back in the car ready to go hooked up and try and get it um, running again in the next couple of days so we'll see how we go I'll hook the engine crane up now and uh, try and get this thing out of the car
Well, it's looking very naked in there now. Very, very nude. It's because we got it out. A bit of effort, a bit of uh, mucking around, but we finally got this thing out and uh, we'll give it a good clean. You can see better fit thing here. You can see how dirty it is underneath. So we'll give it a good clean, try and make it look new again. And um, see what the light is doing. Yeah, not too bad. So give that a clean up. Give the rest of it a bit of a clean. Get these engine mounts off. Get them sparkling and then uh, do a bit of work to it and get it back in the car. Which will be very, very nice. So I will be getting rid of a lot of these... Um, a lot of the pipe work in here that is not needed, like the aircon pipes and stuff like that. And we'll, um, yeah, see how we go with that. But at the moment, I'm very happy with the progress. It's the main goal today. It is now, I don't know, like 8 o'clock in the morning. And um, I'll get some wheels back on this car, get it turned around so my wife won't get too cranky and I'll start working on this engine. So... I know it's probably just a short video today, guys, but um, that's really what I do. I know I probably couldn't, I didn't film very much, but when you're doing this by yourself and it's middle of the night, early morning, sometimes you just want to get it done and get it done quickly. And uh, next video, when we do it, I'll be mounting this engine up to the um, to an engine stand, we'll give it a good clean, do a bit of work to it, and then we'll uh, get it taken care of, change a few parts on it, and try and make it look somewhat new again. Relatively new, so hang around. Thanks for watching today, guys. Uh, make sure if you haven't, um, give the video a like, subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, I'll see you again probably in a couple of days when hopefully I'll have this thing mounted to an engine stand, which will be rather lovely. See you guys. Bye.